Welcome to Tom Strong Reviews. In this video, I'm going to cover the Star Wars Friends 100 Postcards box set. Very sturdy box, lots of imperial designed embossed art on the box itself. And as I spin it around, you can see this black end slides out and you get the 100 postcards inside. Now this then becomes the display frame. So you can either decide to post the postcards if you want to use them to give to friends or like I'm likely to do, use them to select from the first six films. So this covers episodes one through to six where George Lucas has hand selected and made the frame of individual images. So I'm gonna go through each one so you can see them all. But as you can see, some of these are going to be setups and framed in such a way that George Lucas says, this is what I want to show. This is the view I think you, you're going to want to see. It's a very good ratio. So it's about 23 and a half centimeters across each postcard and about 10.7 centimeters high, which is giving you that kind of one to two ratio. So you've got this, sorry, one, one to 2.2 ratio, which is very close to the kind of cinematic feel. So very, very widescreen feel. I've separated them into piles per movie. So there's 13 from The Phantom Menace, 13 from Attack of the Clones, 15 from Re Revenge of the Sith, there's 20 from Star Wars New Hope, 19 from The Empire Strikes Back, and 20 from Return of the Jedi. So 59 from episodes 4, 5, and 6. So I think that also says something about George Lucas's preference. And, you know, let's, let's just say that he's got more of his favourite shots from those three first three movies he ever did than the, than the next three. Um, okay, I've picked six uh, views that I particularly like that I could immediately put into frames and iconic for each movie just to make it a little bit easy to see. The backs are really simple as you'd expect. This is postcard stock, so although they're glossy fronts, it's not a high quality gloss. It's a good quality, but it's not super duper book quality. The backs are very simple. Each one just says very, very likely Revenge of the Sith. So the movie side on the, on the left hand side where you can write your notes and or postcard wish you were here. And of course the address and uh, a very nice little Imperial uh, icon top right saying extra postage required because the uh, Imperials aren't going to pay for this. Neither are the rebels. And again, just quickly turn over one more. So you can see there, A New Hope. Same idea on the backs of all of those. Episode one, The Phantom Menace. There are 13 in total. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep popping cards on top of each other until you've seen them all. So the first six. Now, what I'll do also is from each episode, I'll zoom in close up on one particular card to give you a representation of the kind of quality and the print quality going on. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? There's an upside down pod race. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of Jabba the Hutt going on there. Young Annie about to do his race. C-3PO without his skin. Darth Maul looking very sinister there, very well lit. Another Queen of Madala in her palace. And let's just end with a beautiful cityscape. So there's the 13 from series one. Here we have the 13 cards from episode two, The Attack of the Clones. Again, I'm gonna just pop more cards on top until they've all gone. Now make sure these are obviously real people, real sets and CG and a combination of the two. And certainly when we do a close-up, I'll be picking a couple from each of the episodes. I'll show you some examples of both good and bad CG and good and bad close-ups of people. There are 15 cards in total for episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Again, I'm going to just pop down the cards until I run out. Real mixture of iconic close ups and far away shots. Not a good day 
for the Emperor. In fact, it wasn't a good day for many people with the force that day. And quickly ending the 15th on Darth Vader. Now in episode 4, Star Wars A New Hope. There are 20 in total, so it's going to take a little while longer to go through all of these. I'll try to keep a decent slow pace as I cover each one. It's good to see a, a nice Death Star. Well, I'm not so sure whether that's great to see just pre-shooting sh pre and blowing up another planet. You really get to see the inside of Chewbacca's mouth there. Iconic Millennium Falcon jumping to light speed. George just couldn't miss the uh, Han and Greedo shootout. So much controversy about this shot and that scene. He's really tried to eradicate Han Greedo <laughs> shooting and, gra and Han defending or hand shooting Grillo first, he's really tried to obliterate that. I'll show this one up in close up because the holographic projection on this looks a little bit funny. Now I'm sure that's exactly how it looked in the film, but you really can just see where the uh, the blue illumination colouring starts and ends. It's a little bit more abrupt than you perhaps would think on a printed uh, glossy shot. So that's 20 of those. Now we're on episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. There are 19 cards of this. The dream scene of Luke inside Darth Vader's helmet. The betrayal scene. Great to see Darth Vader and Boba Fett together. The I Know scene. Luke and Vader. Really nice Vader there. I think Vader seems to be the most photogenic and uh, highly selected character of all. I think George Lucas really created something with Darth Vader. And he knows it. Some real iconic moments and scenes from this beautiful film. to end on one of my absolute favourites, the attack on Hoth. And last but not least, episode 6, Return of the Jedi. There are 20 cards. Again, I'm going to just place on top. And this view really is just to help you with your purchasing decision. But I thought it'd be useful before you buy to see what actual images and scenes you actually get to see in this set to make sure that a few of your favorites are also in the 100 postcards. And I'm sure this box set will please almost all fans. They are absolute iconic, beautifully selected frame shots. <laughs> Seeing the Emperor smile there, that was a happy moment he had. <laughs> uh, blessed Ewoks. 
love them or hate them. And of course, let's end on a fully operational Death Star. Okay, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm doing this one backwards, so we're going to start with episode six. And although it's a fantastic scene, you can see here Luke's not very clear at all. None of the figures on the uh, on that ship actually are very clear at all. And it's it's a little bit grainy. The sky and the cloud, not particularly impressive. Same film, much better set. Obviously, this is a huge stage shot, indoors, controllable lighting. Perfectly crisp actors standing in their stormtrooper outfits, etc. And uh, that's a completely different kettle of fish, and you know, much happier that. Let's go on to episode five. So we've then got Bespin. Again, not very clear, quite fuzzy around the clouds. You don't really get to see Bespin great when they watch towers. And then here's Luke, him and his snow speeder. Beautifully crisp, really, really nice. You can really see the way that they bashed and made the uh, totally accurate and really good feel for the uh, props etc that the actors had and uh, you know 70s or not really fantastic and the quality is there so you've got a real good mixture there so episode four again very fuzzy Tatooine very fuzzy Luke some color bleed perhaps going on there but this is how it was from the film. So I think well, really what you've got to appreciate is what George Lucas is doing is he's kind of pressing the pause button. And uh, maybe that's not what everybody wants. Maybe everybody wants the, uh, the best, highest quality possible. Now here's Leah, you can see hair detail. So, you know, th there is high quality there, but it's just not in every shot. Okay, so that's the old original three movers. Now we're gonna to go to the newer three, and as you'd expect, they're all fantastic high quality. Well, they are a higher quality. Now, I've deliberately put this one out from episode um, three because it's quite fuzzy. There's a lot of blur going on. Obviously, the heat is meant to be echoing through, and you can't really see these guys fighting and uh, a slightly over stylized lightsaber battle in shoes. And then, complete contrast again, beautiful composition there two actors and I would imagine that's full CG Yoda there and it looks really good and of course that's a, a very good close-up face mask of Darth Vader and it's a little bit strange going through backwards but I'm kind of doing this for the quality reasons so now we're into episode two and again it's because of the the, the lighting and the atmosphere so, you know, again, I'm trying to kind of swing you over to the side where it's not about the quality and the greeniness or resolution or sharpness of the photo. It's clearly possible in all of the films. But what we saw, what we watched was this. And I guess that's really what George is saying. These are shots from the films. Here's another good example of CG and real life. So you've got a very good actor picture and CG picture here, picture here, really beautiful, very crisp and sharp. And to end on episode one, the jab of the hut here, again, you've got real people, real props and CG all mixed in really well. Good outdoor lighting, good archway, and the stone and the rug and Jabba looking pretty good. And one of my absolute favourite shots here in the selection is this one of Darth Maul. You really can see um, the look of, of power and evil and contempt in that man's face. And I think that's a really good one to end on. So all in all, mixed bag quality wise, but it's actually the image that you saw in the film. And that's what this is trying to capture. Don't forget, you're not meant to be looking at them as close as we are here. You know, I've got my hands and I'm looking at them within only arm's reach, two to three feet. Really, this is going to be on a shelf in a display box or on a mantelpiece because you sent it to somebody as a postcard. And someone's going to look at it and glance at it, pick it up and read the back. And they're going to like it all the more. So um, it's obviously your decision. And uh, I hope this has given you a good taster and will help you with your purchasing decision. I'm going to slide the inner box with a scene back into the, uh, the frame so you can see how much you do and don't lose. 
So as you can see, you absolutely lose the white border of the postcard fully and a little bit more. Not a lot, but a little bit more. So I'm just going to slide that out a little bit again, he says. And there you can see it's the white border plus a small amount just to make it a very crisp frame. Now this is all being considered and I think uh, all in all, and I've picked uh, deliberately a scene where you might argue you slightly lose the feet to show you um, the situation and I'm definitely holding it upright so that the cards are all have all fallen down by normal nature of gravity to the bottom as, as it would be if you stood this on your shelf. So there we go, all in all, lovely set, um, very good quality I think and uh, for the price it's, it's £17. Pounds. Um, now it's obviously because it's sold like a book, it has an is bin number etc. £17 is the RRP, sorry, £18.99 is the RRP. I got it for £17, you can always get them cheaper after they've been out for a little while. US dollars, it says $25, again you can get that less, Canadian $29, again you'll get that less, and in euros probably something like €22 Euros, etc. So um, I hope this has really helped with your uh, decision. I think it's an excellent item to have on a shelf, perhaps with your books, perhaps with your movies, you get to change the scene, there's a hundred in here, not too thick, you know, it's, where's my tape measure, it's thickness is six and a half centimetres, so it's going to fit on anyone's shelves, that's just over two and a half inches, and um, I think all in all, really good purchase, I'm quite happy with this for the price. Not the best quality, but it really is the scene you saw from the movie. So if you go and pause your DVD, Blu-ray or even VHS, these are the scenes you saw. And uh, it's it's the image that George Lucas is trying to portray here. So love it or loathe it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.